In this video, we will learn how to find out the growth rate of total factor productivity. The question goes like this. The aggregate wage bill in an economy is equal to 40 and output which is being produced according to the Cobb Douglas production function is equal to 100. The output growth rate is 10% and growth rate of capital and labor are 10% and 5% respectively. What is the overall total factor productivity? growth rate for this economy the options are being given us uh, 0 0.03 0 0.02 0 0.04 and 0 0.01 okay so basically what we are being given here we are being actually given the wage bill so first let me write the general Cobb Douglas production function okay our Cobb Douglas production function looks, uh, looks like this that means Q our output is equal to a what we call the solo residual also or total factor productivity or state of technology this a is being denoted by there into l denotes the units of labor raised power alpha this shows us output elasticity of labor okay how much our output increases when there is one percent increase in labor times k one minus alpha this shows us the output elasticity of capital okay this is our standard production function what we are being given here we are being given the wage bill in an economy now what is the total wage bill in, in in this economy so total wage will be equal to w that means wage rate times units of labor employed and it is being given us as 40 okay that's one thing also we are being told uh, the output is being product it is equal to 100 that means our q is equal to 100 output is b is equal to 100 also the output growth rate is 10 percent so let us denote by g subscript q shows us the output growth rate which is 10 percent okay and growth rate of capital and labor are 10 and 5 okay let us denote by this growth rate of capital by this which is 10 percent and growth rate of labor is five percent okay and we need to find out we need to find out the growth rate of total factor productivity let's denote it by g subscript a we need to find out this very function okay now how do we calculate if we are being given this whole stuff simple thing what we uh, just need to do we just need to find out the value of alpha and we know this alpha uh, sum of the exponents in this Cobb Douglas production function must equal to 1 because it gives us constant returns to scale okay so we need to find out the value of alpha here how do we find the value of alpha simple let's first find out the marginal product of labor okay to calculate the value of alpha we need to find out the marginal product of capital marginal product of sorry labor is simply the derivative of our production function partial derivative of our production function with respect to l okay so let's take the derivative with respect to l so the exponent of l will become coefficient so we have alpha a l to the power and exponent is subtracted by one and then we have k to the power one minus alpha okay so let me rewrite it here okay because i don't have the space so i can rearrange it uh, like this we have alpha a l to the power alpha let's expand it like this l to the power minus one okay so it will sum up uh, to this alpha minus one then we have k to the power one minus alpha one thing we can do here so if l to the power minus one if i transpose it to the denominator its exponent will change so it becomes alpha let's let me write it here alpha l we are left with a l to the power alpha k to the power one minus alpha and you know this stuff is again our production function this very thing okay so i can write it like this alpha upon l in place of this i can write q okay that means um, this whole stuff will come out to be alpha upon l into q okay so let me rub this out so this comes out to be uh, alpha upon l and q okay 
also we know that marginal product of labor should be equal to wage rate okay so firm uh, firms will employ or hire workers till the marginal product of labor is equal to wage rate okay so mpl is equal to this stuff and mpl is equal to this stuff combining these two results will give us okay so this gives us uh, alpha upon l q is equal to w okay having said that let us manipulate this thing for w okay if i solve this thing for w that means our w will be equal to transposing this here so we have 40 upon l okay so this gives us this so in place of w i will write 40 upon l that implies our alpha upon l into q is equal to 40 upon l okay l and l will get cancelled uh, and also uh, the value of q is 100 let me write it here to save the space transposing this here that gives us alpha is equal to 40 upon 100 which comes out to be 0 0.4 okay that means our alpha is equal to 0 0.4 then what is 1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.4 which comes out to be 0 0.6 okay so we got the value of alpha 1 minus alpha then we need to use the growth accounting equation so this is our production function this is our production function let us take uh, the log on both sides okay that means log of q is equal to log of a plus alpha log of a uh, log of l okay this is simply from uh, you know the rules of logarithm uh, plus 1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha log of k okay simple thing uh, you don't need to get confused uh, i explained the laws of the logarithms you can check how do we take logs okay now take the you know differential on both the sides that means we have uh, the derivative of you know log q is 1 upon q okay del q is equal to derivative of this log a is 1 upon a del a plus alpha derivative of log l is 1 upon l del l plus 1 minus alpha the derivative of k is 1 upon k del k so this uh, change in output uh, upon the initial output this gives us percent change in this gives us the percent change in output so in place of this i can write ga okay simple thing this is a you know change in output upon initial output gives us the growth rate of output let's denote it by ga is equal to and this gives us percentage change in state of technology what we call total factor productivity so del a upon a let me write it like this growth rate of a uh, that's pro total product uh, fact, uh, sorry total factor productivity then we have alpha del l upon l gives us growth rate of labor plus one minus alpha del k upon k gives us the growth rate of capital okay so actually it is here q sorry for this mistake so growth rate of output is being given as 10 percent okay is equal to growth rate of state of technology we need to find out that is the total factor productivity let me write it as it is okay then we have plus alpha the value of alpha we calculated it came out to be 0 0.4 and growth rate of labor is being given as 5%. So I will write 5% plus 1 minus alpha came out to be 0 0.6. At times growth rate of capital is being given as 10%. Okay, let me write it here 10%. 1 
okay so uh, solving for ga now 0.4 of 5 percent what does it came out to be okay so we have 4 upon 10 into 5 percent so 4 5 is a 20 upon 10 it is 2 okay so i can write it like this growth rate of output plus this comes out to be 2 percent uh, plus 0 0.6 into 10 so 6 upon 10 into 10 so this gets cancelled we are left with 6 percent only okay do i have the space yes i have the space so uh, we have 6 plus 2 is 8 okay i can write it if i transpose these, these uh, you know terms here that means our so let me show it here okay i don't have the luxury of infinite space so we have 10 percent minus so 6 plus 2 is 8 transposing here it will get subtracted so we have 8 percent is equal to growth rate of total factor productivity so 10 minus 8 comes out to be 2 percent that means growth rate of let me write it here now growth rate of total factor productivity will be equal to 2 percent and you can write 2 percent uh, like this 0 0.02 okay so the growth rate of total factor productivity will be 0 0.02 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you